In this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make a lovely chunky tassel. This is the tassel that I used on the Briar Blanket, which is the brand new pattern, which has just been released. It's released as part of a collection. It's the Bella Coco Crochet Homeware Collection, a collaborative collection, which is absolutely gorgeous. If you want to find out more about that, I'll leave a link in the description box so that you can go and check it out. But it has some really beautiful patterns in there. So make sure you go and have a look. To make this tassel, you are going to need your yarn. I'm using the Lion brand Thick and Quick, which is what I've used in the blanket as well. You are going to need a smaller pair of scissors and a really nice sharp pair of scissors. You will need a tape measure and a darning needle as well. As well as that, you are going to need something to wrap your yarn around. Now I am using this. So this is a ruler which I use if I'm cut cutting fabric and things. And this is actually really handy for me because it needs to be six inches, uh, which is what this is here. But you could use a book if you wanted to, or you could use some cardboard. It's totally up to you, but you just want something to wrap around uh, your yarn around and it probably wants to be about six inches by six inches mine is much longer uh, but that's what you need to do okay before we actually make the tassels we are going to go ahead and just get some shorter pieces so grab your yarn and your scissors and let's get started so we're going to prepare to make our tassel by making some smaller sections of yarn now this uh, section here, which is the attachment, is going to be this shorter one. I have done that to 12 inches, so you want a 12 inch piece. If you are making more tassels, you want however many of these for however many of tassels. So for the blanket I've done, for example, you would need four of these. And then this slightly longer one here is this section here, which is going to secure your tassel together. I have done mine to 20 inches, but if you want this section to be a little bit bulkier, a little bit thicker, you can maybe do 40 inches so that it's, um, it's, it's double the width. So go ahead and get those pieces. You will need the same number of pieces to the amount of tassels you're doing. So four and four if you're doing four tassels. And then we're gonna go ahead and make the main section. Okay, so to make the tassel, you either want to take your ruler like this or your book or your cardboard and we're going to lay the yarn down over and then just simply start to wrap it round. So this is the third wrap for me and we want to do 50 in total. So this uh, 50 wraps is going to make the, the chunky um, the chunky tassel like I've done. So let's go ahead and do those 50 wraps. Okay, so once you've been round 50 times, you're going to go ahead and snip off your yarn. So what we want to do is take this 12 inch piece of yarn and we're going to go ahead and put this underneath these strands. So you can use a, a your darning needle to push it through if you want to. I'm just going to thread it through like so. And then we want to bring it upwards like so, make it even. And then we're going to tie it in a knot. So you want to have it all the way to the top of your um, attachment. So whether it's your cardboard or a ruler or a book, bring it all the way up and make a nice tight knot. I'm going to go ahead and do a second one in there. And you want to just try and keep that as tight as possible, like so. We're now going to gently pull this off, like so. And then I'm just going to give that a pull, just so that attachment is right at the top. So some people do actually do their cutting at this point, but I like to just leave that for now. And then we're going to take the 20 inch piece of yarn and then lay our tassel over the top, 
and then I'm going to make a knot in here and this is going to be around an inch to an inch and a half down from the top of the tassel where the attachment is. So I'm securing that there. I'm going to lay that down and just tuck it under at the back. And then we're going to take this end and wrap it around like so. So at this point, we want to take this tail end. We want to get our darning needle and we want to secure it. And we're going to hide this end into the actual tassel itself. So what I like to do here is just go under one of the strands that we've just created and then I make kind of a little knot there. And then I'm going to go into the tassel and bring that out through the center. And that just hides it within the center of the tassel and it's nice and secure. Now the next thing that we need to do is we need to find the center of these loops. And we're going to take these really sharp scissors and you want to hold onto your tassel and pull these scissors as far flat as possible. And then you can go ahead and start making your cuts to those loops. Okay, so there we have our tassel. But what we want to do now is we want to make sure that it's all nice and neat. And you can trim this to the length that you want. So if you have a particular length, you might want to trim it down and you can use your tape measure in order to do that. I'm just going to squeeze the tassel down like so. And we can see that some of the bits are longer. And then I'm just going to take these really sharp scissors and cut it down to size, making it neat. And there we have our chunky tassel. So the next thing that you could do with this is to actually um, steam your tassels so that they sit nice and neatly. Um, and once they're steamed, you might want to do a little bit more trimming on them as well. And if you want to make these in different weight yarns, but want them to still be really, really chunky, all you would need to do is wrap your yarn around your cardboard piece um, a little bit more, and that's where you're going to get your chunkiness. So as I say, these are on the Briar Blanket. I'll leave a link in the description box if you want to go and check that out. But if you like this video, then you might want to check this one out too.